Hello Alexers, and welcome back to the Sunday Motivational Video. Everything good in your life will happen as a result of taking a risk to get it. There's no return without paying the price, and the price is taking the risk of failure. As a baby, you need to risk falling if you're going to learn how to walk. We follow that same trajectory through life and business. Those who are unwilling to take the risk face an unfulfilled and mediocre life. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding on what are the most important risks you need to take if you want to get everything you want in life. As a golden rule in life, if the reward is bigger than the risk, always take the risk, see what happens. And with that as our cornerstone, let's get started. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Number 1. Risk Getting Incredibly Wealthy If you're under the age of 35, you get one or two big swings at an extraordinary life. This happens because you have little to no downside. There's no one depending on you. This is by far the most important piece of advice you can get as a young person. Take big risks. You want to hear something that will outrage the close-minded people? Everyone who actually wants to be rich can become rich. Absolutely. There are over 50 million millionaires and thousands of new billionaires. We're soon going to have our first trillionaire. There's no limit on the wealth you can get in this life. And honestly, the sooner you solve the money issue in life, the better. When it comes to both life and financial risks, if you don't play the risk game while you're young, you're going to play the blame game while you're old. Number 2. Risk Getting the Person of Your Dreams Risk putting yourself out there. Risk telling people how you feel. Go for the perfect 10. Build the life you always wanted to build next to the right person. There's a risk in settling for what's easy and available. Most people are unhappy in their choice of life partners, and this is the sole result of being scared to take the risk of finding the right one. For them, the risk of ending up alone is greater than the perceived return of an amazing spouse. Long term, their insecurity only grows, resulting in troubled households and poor parenting. It's the mindset and the soul of the person that's going to go the distance, not the money or the good looks. Number 3. Risk Ridicule in Exchange for Making Your Dreams Come True Criticism and ridicule are part of the process. Think of it as the cost of entry to the joyride that is a good life. Who cares if they don't like you? You don't like them. People are intimidated by those who go after it. They're scared of seeing other people succeed because it serves as proof that success is achievable. Their only hope is to intimidate you into giving up on your dreams so you don't get the chance to prove them wrong. The risk fades away when you realize that these people are irrelevant to your journey, even if they're part of your inner circle and their words might hurt. Number 4. Risk Dropping Out or Quitting to Start Your Own Business Here's a golden nugget that's going to change your life forever. It's called the Simulated Outcome Theory. Here's how it works. Look at the way your life is going right now and imagine doing what you're doing for the next 10 years. What does your life look like if you progress in a linear fashion? If you're happy with the result, keep doing what you're doing. But what if you realize this future sucks? Then a brutal change to your timeline needs to happen. Become a variant. That's when you drop out or quit your job in order to start living life on your terms. You'll end up working longer hours, but you'll have the satisfaction that you're building for yourself. For as long as you live, you need to remember, if you don't build your own dreams, someone else will hire you to build theirs. Number 5. Risk Investing in Yourself People complain that investing in yourself is expensive, but what the hell is the alternative? What is there to invest in that gives you a better ROI than, well, you. If you're unable to at least invest in yourself where you can control the outcome, how do you expect any other investment to work out? This is a wake-up call. Treat your investment in yourself the same way venture capital works. Some will be shit, some will be okay, but two of them will be life-changing. 
We've read hundreds of bad books before finding a few that worked well for us. We've spent tens of thousands of dollars going to events, seminars, courses, classes, and meetups in order to compound our knowledge and build a network that would eventually become partners in future investments. Our mission here at Alux is to bring the same expensive lessons and advice to everyone around the world for free. That's why so many people subscribe to us, and if you haven't, we encourage you to support our journey as well. Ask yourself. What percentage of your income do you reinvest in yourself? We're not talking about your comforts, but in your skill set, your knowledge, and your tools of the trade. If you're spending less than 5% on you, it might be a good time to reevaluate your priorities. A good place to start is at courses.alux.com. All of our courses are designed around skills that keep compounding for the rest of your life. What you'd normally spend thousands of dollars for, we've curated, optimized, and delivered for a fraction of the cost. We reinvest everything into making our mission a reality. The brutal truth is, your life is cheap because you think investing in yourself is expensive. Number 6. Risk starting over Even if you're starting from scratch, even if it's a new place, even if you don't know anybody, even if no one supports you, risk starting over. It'll be scary because it's always scary when you venture into the unknown. But you see, darkness is the mere absence of light. The moment you overcome your fear, you begin to generate light into the darkness of your world. The more you do and learn, the brighter you shine. Deep down, we're all scared of our luminosity, but it's a necessary part of success. You might be thinking it's easy to say this when we don't know your story, but we actually know you because we've been you and we've seen your story in other people as well. Every single one of us is manifesting against realities we do not like and choose to build our own. So trust that you can do it as well. It might not be obvious to you at the moment, but if starting over is your objective, the road will reveal itself to you. We want to leave you with this. If you see nothing around you but walls, start building a door by knocking some down. Number 7. Risk Being Honest with yourself and with everyone else. You have to be honest. The alternative is to be a liar, and history has been unkind to liars, even the pretty ones. Dishonesty is just the delay of the truth, but with worse repercussions. Stop saying things you don't mean. Stop saying yes when you actually want to say no. Stop living a lie, and most importantly, stop lying to yourself. The only way up is to find the truth and build from it. There's a risk in judgment when telling the truth or showing your vulnerability, but Every lie incurs a debt to the truth and a burden to carry with you for the rest of your life. Admit you need help. It takes some serious balls and dedication to improving yourself to be vulnerable like that. Number 8. Take Risks Under Your Own Name this is one of the recent lessons that we've learned that has dramatically changed the way we approach risks. We're proud of the work that we do and we want to be proud of the outcome. Always assume risk under your own name. Be accountable. It's a risky move because if you fail, you're faced with the ridicule of those on the sidelines. But if you win, you win everything. Everyone knows success is on you. You made it happen. Too few people are accountable. Very few assume risk under their own name. But everyone we know that's done anything worthwhile has put their face, name, reputation on the line. That's how greatness is built. Number 9. Risk Being in the Public Eye the evolution of the previous point is acting in the public eye. This is where everyone begins to look at you. There's a conflicting thing happening within each and every one of us. That one hand wants the world to acknowledge us. We want to be seen, but not looked at in detail or analyzed. And that's the paradox of fame. The better you are at what you do, the more fame comes your way. Fame is not the problem, but the celebrity status that comes with it. You want to be famous for what you do, but not become a celebrity. It took us years to understand that there's value in fame in being in the public eye. It opens up doors for you that would have been closed otherwise. Not because you were not worth walking through them, but the doorman didn't know about you. Invest in your image. Assume risk under your own name. Say what you will do and do what you say, but don't get caught up in the whirlwind of status signaling. If you look in the mirror and see a label on your forehead, your descent has already begun. Stay humble, but do phenomenal work. Number 10. 
risk going against the consensus and be right. This is a straightforward path to massive success in life. The more you think about it, the more you realize it's true. If you want to be successful in life, you have to go against the consensus, what everybody else thinks, and be right. People will tell you that something is impossible. They'll tell you to not even try because it wouldn't work. You're not good enough, smart enough, talented enough, not born in the right country, not born with the right parents, skin color, gender, or simply that nobody else was able to do it. The thing is, everything is impossible until someone does it. Our growing wealth is the result of ignoring everybody else and focusing on the process. We've said this before, but if we're living in a simulation, then self-belief is the cheat code to getting everything you want. Risk believing in your idea and following through. You'd be amazed by what you find at the end of the rainbow. Number 11. Risk bringing change to your inner circle and community. Whenever you introduce a new idea to any group of people, you'll get immediate pushback. Nobody likes change, but change is necessary for growth, for survival, for long-term happiness. They love the status quo. They love stability because stability doesn't require them to alter their behavior. I'm not getting killed by a lion doing what I'm doing right now, so why do you ask me to change? Who knows what dangers lie in the darkness of the unknown? But it's thanks to the people who don't listen to the masses, who are keen on all optimizing life for efficiency, comfort, and progress. It's only after you've changed their life that people figure out what kind of impact you actually had. This is why so many artists, inventors, and creators are more often appreciated posthumously. Number 12. You risk being yourself when everyone wants you to be someone else. Who are you? You're more than your clothes, the things you buy, the home you live in. You're more than what your parents taught you when you were seven years old. You are more than the trauma you suffered growing up. You're an individual. You're separate from everything else. You're not what your uncle thinks you are or should be. You're not what your parents wish you were. You're not what your friends see you as. You're not even all of those things combined. You are an ever-changing identity that absorbs what it needs and finds useful in order to craft itself out of pure chaos. The moment you realize how short life is and how meaningless the expectations of others are in terms of real impact on your existence, the second phase of your life begins, that of finding out who the hell you are and then living as that person. Risk being yourselves, Aluxers. Life is too damn short to go through it pretending that you're somebody else. Number 13. Risk finding your true limits. Want to know the brutal truth? Most people quit at 40% of their ability. As humans, we fail to understand our true limits because our mind and body is designed to shelter us from harm and into comfort as quickly as possible. Most people go through life never knowing what they can do. They choose to underperform, doing the universe a big disservice. You were put on this planet to find out what you're capable of. Going to the grave without discovering that is just a wasted potential. Why are you scared to find out? What did you quit before reaching your limits? Why why don't you test yourself and see how far you can go? Something extraordinary happens if you do. You find the truth. You find where your ability stands at this point in your life. You have a clear benchmark from work to life to relationships. Go the extra mile and make them extraordinary. For the man who risks finding his own limits, the world opens up with limitless opportunities. Number 14. Risk having your own metrics for success. Here's the paradox of success. Success is a self-fulfilling game. The only real way to win is to decide that you've won the game. Otherwise, you'll be in constant pursuit of something that you'll never catch up with. Even if you achieve what other people consider success, if it's not your own consideration, you won't feel like you've made any progress in life. This is how people end up hating their lives despite having a high-profile job or making a lot of money. If it doesn't meet your own metrics for success, you will feel like a failure, like you could have done more or been happier doing something else. People will judge you based on their own metrics, but please note that you're under no obligation to live by them. Risk having your own metrics. That's what the phrase you do you actually means. Number 15. Risk a bad meal to find the magical one. 
Tony Bourdain said that, and it stuck with us. We know you weren't expecting a food reference at this point in the talk, but it's actually a deep metaphor for life. You have to risk going through the bad in order to find the exceptional. You don't know where the magic is in life, but it won't find you. You have to go looking for it. Look everywhere you think you might be able to find it. Most will be disappointments, but once in a while, you'll stumble upon something that made the entire search worth it. These are the life-changing pieces of the puzzle that makes up your existence. Do you know why this is true? Because unearned prizes bear no value. In a screwed up way, the bad justifies you being deserving of the good. You truly appreciate a good meal if you've eaten some shit for a while. You really appreciate a good job if you've been working miserable ones for the past few years. You will never take for granted a loyal partner if your previous one tore your heart to shreds. If you want to win this freaking game, you have to embrace the risk. You won't get many chances. Time has picked up speed and we know you can feel it too. The next few years will go by in the blink of an eye. Don't regret it. Embrace risk. We know that at some point in your past, you did, and because of it, your life is now better. Share that story with us in the comments. When was the last time you took a risk and it worked out? Allow other people to learn from your journey and maybe you'll learn something from theirs. Now, you know what time it is. You stuck with us until the end. Here's your bonus. Don't risk the long term for the short term. Every time you sacrifice the long term for the short term, it'll backfire and result in sustaining unhappiness. This rule spares no one and it applies to every aspect of your life. The moment the short term endorphins fade away, the realization comes to the forefront. From the little things like unhealthy food habits to cheaters or criminals, the long term is a lot more expensive than the short term and the payment method is quite different. It will haunt you as that part never goes away. It becomes part of who who you are. That's life for you. You cannot rewrite the past. So be careful with where you deploy risk. We encourage you to always risk the short term for the long term, not the other way around. It'll be the crucial difference between getting what you want and not getting anything at all. It was a pleasure for us to work on today's piece as it's one of those cornerstones of an incredible existence. It's the type of work that we ourselves have to revisit when life doesn't seem to go right. Save this video. Share it with your friends and rewatch it at least once a year, for the lessons here are easy to forget. And if you do so, you'll find that every time you rewatch or listen to it, you'll hear something new because it'll hit differently. If you're finally ready to take a big risk in life, please write the word risk in the comments of this video. Not only does it help out with the troubling state of YouTube right now, but it gives us a reason to smile when we see how many true Aluxers benefit from our videos. We tip our proverbial hat to you.